Hey, Trey Veston here. Let's take a look at my 2023 Yamaha Kodiak 450 ES EPS. Or is it ES 450 EPS? I don't know. It's a fancy one. Let's take a look at it. All right, we're deep here in the Idaho woods. And this is it. These are the limited edition colors for the special edition 450 EPS SE. So SE is obviously special edition. EPS is with electronic power steering. And with the special edition, you get the graphics, the kind of cool navy blue and desert tan color. Uh, you also get a locker, locking differential. There we go. <clears throat> and you get a factory installed worn winch. There you go there. And I'm not sure how big it is. That's 2,500 pounds, 3,000, 2,500 pounds. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Um, when I was looking to buy this thing, I didn't hardly see any reviews on it uh, on YouTube. And really nothing of substance. Uh, unfortunately, I can't offer really anything of substance. Not a big four-wheeler guy. I've owned a couple. I just know they work well for me. The midsize, this is the 450, so that's perfect for me. Uh, what few mods I've done to this, I haven't done anything to suspension, uh, tires, this is all factory stuff. Um, I added a phone mount right there, and then I added uh, a USB port right here. So I've got that. Um, biggest addition has been this box, and I really struggled, um, as to what kind of box I should put on here. I needed storage for stuff. Uh, I've got to have a shovel and an axe on your off-road vehicle in Idaho during fire season. I think I saw that in a U.S. Forest Service. Plus, I'd like to have an axe and a shovel with me anyway. I've got little Arlo's little dog expandable water bowl for him even though he seems to enjoy puddles uh, i mounted a culpin dual gun rack on here to hold the the tools and it seems to be working okay i had that on my utv and never had any issues in a couple of years of riding rough with it the box itself came from amazon i don't remember the brand um I think it was like $105 or something on Amazon. Uh, it's, what is this height? I think it's 16 high, 14 wide, and 36 or 38 wide. I can't remember. Anyway, it, it just, it tucks in. Nothing sticking out. And this side, I got the, the cheap gas can on there. It sticks out just a, eh, a couple inches. Not a big deal. Two gallon tank extra gas um got my hitch on there i don't know why <laughs> uh wasn't going to tow anything with it today i forgot to take it off before going in the woods i like uh, this is an under under bed box which i like the design because i can un unopen it or open it up and this folds down gives you a little work table thing to set stuff on uh i've got my DeWalt electric chainsaw on there, some extra water, first aid kit, a tripod. I'll be adding more stuff in here. I'd like to add like a shelf so uh, I can keep more stuff in there and not have it all jumbled in. I've added an LED light. There you go. You can see in there at night. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The uh, the seat cover, I bought it. It was on my KLR 650, and I just threw it on there um, just for the heck of it. It said more padding can't hurt. It wasn't, the factory seat wasn't uncomfortable or anything. It just, I'm big and fat, and I need more padding. But yeah, so far, um, you know, playing in the mud hole, with factory tires, two-wheel drive, no locker, I can't, I can't get it stuck. So, um, the only time I've really needed to engage four-wheel drive 
was plowing snow. And even in two wheel drive, it did pretty well. So, um, I'm going off road. This is really, I haven't really hardly ridden off road. I have nine miles on this thing, or just, I think just under 10 miles. So, but it seems to have plenty of power. It, it steers nice. You don't even notice it has uh, the, the electronic power steering. I don't notice it at least, but it seems to track fine. I know I had a uh, Arctic Cat 400 that I'm trying to sell now, and it just it just didn't steer right. It felt weird. I don't know. It didn't didn't feel as beefy. Um, it's got plenty of power. It's a good little machine, but it just didn't feel right. It felt a little small for me. This feels just about right. I believe the 700 and the 450 are the same size externally. So, but the 450 has plenty of power, even for my big fat butt. So, so yeah, now well, let's do some more riding and try to give more impressions. See, uh, see how it does. See if we can't find some challenging, tighter trails.
Yep, this is Idaho. Alrighty, yeah, we just did a real steep climb. I did have it in four-wheel drive just because I was one-handed holding the camera and going up a pretty harrowing uh, stretch of trail but it was no problem uh, it feels real stable I went up that same bit in my Honda Pioneer 500 side by side and it's the same width as this with a little longer wheelbase and it just feels super sketchy this just felt way more stable. I don't know if it's the independent rear suspension or what, but yeah. Here we are. Not at the very top. Oh, there's the turkey. Arlo scared up a turkey. Arlo, you can't eat those, buddy. And uh, this is actually the Mica Mountain area. A lot of trails up here. Good hunting. If you're an Idaho resident, I am not. So I find the elk and I tell my dad and brother about them. So, yeah, this is the kind of area you can get to in an ATV. Pick up when I made it up that trail. Nor my KLR, I'm afraid. But the... Uh, yeah, the Kodiak 450 will, 2023 edition. I think my price out the door with tax and everything was like $9,500. Um, I think the list is 88. I'm not sure. But anyway, hopefully this is the last uh, ATV I'll ever have to buy. And I'm very happy with it. So, you know, I'm trying to think of the negatives. Um... The only negatives I can think of is no storage. There's no factory, you know, cup holders anywhere. There's no little compartments. My Arctic Cat has, has a real handy little glove box right here. This has absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, and some of the plastic, the fit and finish is a little Chinese feeling, I guess. Kind of odd. Um, yeah, I guess that protection. They make a really cool brush guard from the factory. It's like an extra two hundred something dollars. But I really don't beat the heck out of my stuff, so I'm not sure if I'll need it. I'm not going to do any other mods to it. I like the wheels. I like the tires are fine. Um, when they wear out, I'll get something probably similar, but haven't had to use the winch. Um, well, except for the snow plow and it works fine. So yeah, that's it. Arlo, do you approve? You approve? Okay. All right. Let's get you a drink. And, uh, this concludes another Trey Vestin fun in the Northwest manly man fun in the old days. All righty. Take care.